guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you are new here welcome if you haven't subscribed to this channel do the right thing and subscribe um, thank you so much guys for pushing my channel as I always say thank you so much let's grow this channel let's get to a thousand subscribers that's like the goal right even more so yeah uh, share the video like comment um, so this video as you can see by the title I'm going to be telling you guys about the two agencies that I used uh, to secure jobs in Taiwan well the job that I got came from um, one of those agencies so tune in if you know any other agencies please comment down below and um, make sure that other people know about these things this channel is all about sharing information let's share information guys let's not keep information to ourselves because that is not cool okay share information so that other people can know can have an easier and more flowy journey when they are on this process of applying so if you know any other agencies that I, i'm not talking about because i'm only focusing on the ones that i used um, comment down below and put those agencies so yeah let's get straight into the video so in this video you're gonna see me looking at my book a lot so that's because I made some notes um, so I'm gonna just look down a couple of times so please don't mind me on that okay <clears throat> so let's start with teach Taiwan okay so teach Taiwan um, all you have to do to apply um, to be a teacher, you have to go into their website. I, I put it down in the description box. Uh, you go into the website, you fill in your information, uh, your name, everything that they require there. And then after that, you attach a copy, um, a scan copy of your SACE certificate, okay? Uh, or your teaching certificate, whichever country that you are coming from, okay? So that's what first you have to do, and then you send in the application. Once you send in the application, they will require more things, um, such as your police clearance, and your scanned passport, and other things, okay? So these are the things that they will require from you okay so that's teach taiwan that's how the process begins for your application okay um they don't require you to provide a self-introduction video uh or a like a teaching demo okay you don't need to do that after you have sent your application online they will contact you and then set up an appointment after they set up an appointment then they will invite you you will have the interview, uh, they will invite you for an interview, then you will have that interview, and then you will get a job from there on, okay? That's how easy it is with Teach Taiwan, okay? Um, and then let's move on to um, the process, how long it took me with Teach Taiwan specifically, because I want you guys to know my process, how it worked out, okay? So first, I applied with Teach Taiwan on the 27th of July, 2022, so this year, and then I had my interview on the 5th of August, and then I got an offer to teach in New Taipei, um, on the 31st of August but then I rejected this order offer because I was not happy with the curriculum that they had uh, or the timetable rather because the kind of timetable they gave me it kind of like I have to start work on the it didn't seem like it was a public school like I had to start work at 10 and then finish work very late and that's not what I was looking for so I, I immediately rejected it because I didn't want to go into something like that, okay? And then um, I got another offer again from Teach Taiwan on the uh, 2nd of September, uh, 2022. And then this offer, I got it after I just gotten an offer from Phoenix Group Asia. So then I was like, I'd already kind of like made my decision. So I just said no to it because it was kind of far from Taipei. I didn't want to be 
in Taipei, but I didn't want to be too far from Taipei. So the, the, the city that I got the offer from was Kaohsiung, I think, if I'm saying it correctly. Um, so yeah, and then another thing that made me reject this offer was that I still needed to be interviewed by the school. So Teach Taiwan had interviewed me, but they told me I, I have an offer, but then the director of that school still wants to interview me. So I was like, I don't have time for that. I'm working with time at this point, so I'm not going to be taking that offer. So then I rejected that offer, okay? Um, so let's move on to Phoenix Group Asia, which is the agency that I went with. And I'm going to tell you the requirements that they want and the process that I went through, okay, with them. So first, uh, I emailed them. Um, they have an, an email address. I will also link that down below on the description box. You send them an email. I send them an email. Then I send my CV and then I told them. Um, this is what I would like. I would like to work in a public school in a ruralish area. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I said. And then they replied to me and then they sent me a list of things that they wanted me to have. Okay, so these are the things that I'm going to share with you guys. So I already sent them a CV. That's what they want. And then they want a degree. You need to have a degree, a bachelor's degree. And then you have to have a teaching license, uh, which is safe. So these are the things you need to send to them, actually. Um, then you have to have a police clearance. Your police clearance needs to be an actual police clearance, not the one from Afi Switch. I know people are always asking, can I submit the one from Afi Switch? No, they want an actual police clearance, okay? Um, and it must not be... Um, like it must be valid for six months, okay? It must be the one that's valid for six months. If it's after six months, then it's no longer valid, okay? Um, and then they want a vaccination record, okay? So with the vaccination record right now in Taiwan, regulations are changing regarding that. So as of the 14th of November, 2022, um, teachers will no longer be required to get a third a shot, meaning a boost. So if you've already been vaccinated, uh, let's say two shorts so you don't need to get a boost okay um, and then they also need a self-introduction video um, so you're gonna have to send them that usually you would have to upload it into google drive or into youtube and then you send them the link and you need to make sure that it's public so that they're able to view the videos okay and then, um, yeah, that's it with Phoenix Group Asia, okay? And then um, in terms of my application, first, I applied on the 1st of August, okay, 2022. So this, this was after I'd applied to Teach Taiwan, and I was like, they're teaching forever, okay? So I applied to Phoenix Group Asia on the 1st, and then I got an interview on the 15th, they emailed me requesting an email on the 15th of August, and then I had it on the 16th, okay? And then on the 25th of August, they sent me an email saying I got two offers again. So the first offer, it was, I think, I don't remember why I didn't go with that offer, but yeah, I didn't choose the first offer, but then I went with the second offer, which is um, I'm teaching for two different schools. So it's a co-hire and I have to be three, three times in a week. I'm in one school, three times in a week. I'm in another school. Okay. So that was more interesting for me. And it also just when I looked the area, that's kind of like what I was going for. So that's my process that I took guys so just make sure you have your police clearance your passport is valid and you're ready with everything so get these things done in time if you want to apply so just an extra tip in Taiwan school starts in September sometimes like end of August okay like this year so just try to, if you're planning on coming next year, just make sure that you have everything you need um, before that, like way in advance. So start applying way in advance so that by August, you start 
here in August, not after that, because if you don't start in August as the year starts, it's kind of going to affect you when it comes to your salary. But that is a topic for another day. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in into my channel. Um, please subscribe, please share this video, and I would love to hear. Uh, where you are in your application process, have you collected your documents, share your experience, and if you are even interested in coming to Taiwan, okay? So, thank you so much. See you guys next time. Bye!